going on YouTube? Uh, back today with another video um, for you guys out there with the 2017 and up 6.7 liter power strokes. Um, talk to y'all about a real common issue I see in on them. Uh, they come in usually leaking oil. What's usually the cause of the problem is the crankcase filter. Um, as you've seen, when I took that oil, the oil cap off, um, all that pressure just blew the cap right off. So what happens is, is that all that pressure's gotta go somewhere. So it usually finds the weakest point, um, which is usually the oil pan gasket or the front cover gasket. And it just starts, all that pressure just starts escaping from there. And when that happens, uh, usually have really bad oil leaks. And a lot of people will try to fix the oil leaks by repairing you know, the oil pan gasket or the front cover or whatnot, but never actually fix the root cause of the problem. Uh, a lot of the time, just replacing the crankcase filter will either stop or severely slow down the leak, just you know, really slow the leak down. Um, so I'm gonna try to show you guys how to put this in. Um, it's not real hard, it should take you know, less than 30 minutes to put in. Uh, I'll put the part number for this uh, crankcase filter down in the description. Um, so yeah, just check it out. We're gonna get right into it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, get this crankcase filter out. Take this ground strap right here off. Right, just take that nut off. Pull this ground strap over out of the way. Pop this fuel line down. Pretty much the only thing you're gonna need for this, other than a crescent wrench to get that ground strap off, is an eight millimeter and some type of ratchet or something to get these off. I'm gonna use an electric ratchet for some of them here. So uh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven eight millimeters to hold this cover on. if you have a, a real long quarter inch ratchet with a shallow well eight to get to these back two, they can kind of be a little bit difficult. So what I usually do is uh, get the top ones that you can with the impact or electric ratchet or whatever you got this works the easiest and then the back ones I'll break loose with the ratchet and take them out by hand with the socket Actually, I lied to y'all about the only tools needed. You also need a 10 millimeter. Um, you'll see once you get all these bolts out, they won't come off. This transmission line right here is actually in the way of it coming off. So there's a 10 millimeter right there that you have to take out in order to move those lines out of the way. So let me go ahead and take that out real quick. And there's also one 10 millimeter right behind here, on this line, which you have to take loose also. There's that other 10 millimeter nut. And once we get those off, move out of the way just enough let us get this cover off. So just 
just like that. And then the cover will slide right out, just like that. So this old filter just slides right up and out, just like that. You can see the gasket for this is actually made onto the filter here. And this is the part that actually clogs up uh, over time. Uh, they basically just clog up and it'll let too much crankcase pressure build up in your engine. And when that happens, usually oil leaks start to follow. So. Here's our new filter, nice and clean. Slide that in there. Just like that. Slide our cover back on. So once we got those seven bolts in there tightened up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw these lines back over. Um, you can see right here, the stud, I got them, the lines just pulled up on top of it. So all we want to do is just line the hole back up on that stud like that. Then we can start our bolt back here. And we can start our nut up here. Word of advice, uh, don't do this when the truck is hot like I'm doing because everything you touch burns. Just something to think about. Alright, so we got our dipsticks tightened back down cover tightened down so now go ahead and install this fuel line back on and last but not least don't forget our ground strap So there you have it guys, uh, it's how to replace your crankcase filter. This is for 2017 and up power strokes. Uh, it's a little different for uh, the 2011 to 2016 models. So I'm gonna try to do a video on those because they do have some of the same issues, not quite as common, but they do. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do a video on those for you guys out there that don't have uh, 17 up, they have the 11 to 16s. So I appreciate you guys watching and I really hope this video helps uh, some of you out there with uh, oil leaks. So thanks for watching.